many of you have heard about the Jamestown Canyon virus? I never heard of it. And there's now a warning because it's being carried by mosquitoes there in Michigan. Jamestown Canyon virus was first discovered in mosquito in 1961 in Jamestown, Colorado. You know, you got all these new weird viruses, kind of like the Lyme disease. They now admit that it was actually a created virus by some mad scientist. JCV often doesn't cause symptoms. Some people may experience fever, fatigue, or headache, but it can also lead to severe illnesses and hospitalization. It can lead to encephalitis. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Yeah, you know, I, I as a kid, I grew up in Ohio. Um, used to play in the woods of Michigan. Never heard of this. The first infected mosquito report has come into the Michigan Health Department after some of the bugs collected in the mid-Michigan County tested positive for James Canyon virus. The mosquitoes were found in Saginaw County on May 22nd. Currently, no one has tested positive for any mosquito-borne illnesses, including JCV. But they are saying the detection is a warning sign of things to come, while serving as a reminder for residents to take care during the summer evening this year. There is no cure for JCV, and people who are infected tend to see illness develop within a few days to two weeks after being bitten. Rare cases come with severe complications to the brain, including encephalitis and meningitis. It only takes one bite from an infected mosquito to cause severe illness. They are urging Michiganians to take precautions such as using an EPA registered insect repellent when outdoors, avoiding areas where mosquitoes are present if possible, and wearing clothing to cover arms and legs to prevent bites. I always hate it when they bite your face or your fingers. Yeah, drives me crazy. Because of Michigan's warmer than normal winter, this year could bring more mosquitoes, including more carrying viruses. According to the health department, most of the mosquitoes that hatch in May are in woody habitats. In the past three years, 11 people have been infected with JCV. Another 21 cases of West Nile virus were reported last year. The warm winter may have felt out of the ordinary, but it's part of the larger trend for more mosquito-borne illnesses appearing in the Midwest. This is likely the result of more testing, but it's also because of a larger presence of illnesses in the environment. Between, between 2012 and 2021, the CDC received 267 reports of the virus, most often in Wisconsin and Minnesota. In 2021, 32 cases of Jamestown Canyon virus were reported. Researchers believe the disease is underdiagnosed and often underreported due to the lack of awareness and testing. Symptoms of the Jamestown Canyon virus may also be mistaken for other more common infections. Most of the reported cases um, come during the warmer months of April through September. Reported cases have occurred mostly among men. I, I wonder why men, males, seem to be affected more so than women. It's not contagious, which means J. CV can't be passed, transmitted from one person to another. Once again, common symptoms include fever, fatigue, headache. You also may have chills, a cough, dizziness, muscle aches, nausea or vomiting, runny or stuffy nose, congestion, a sore throat. Severe symptoms may include confusion, difficulty speaking or moving, loss of coordination, even seizures. 
sensitivity to light, a stiff neck. So how do the mosquitoes get it? Well, evidently, the virus spreads by a small germ, microbes, that have infected mammals like deer or bison to produce more copies of itself. Mosquitoes feed on infected animals, most often white-tailed deer. The mosquitoes then bite people. The uh, CDC also has a list of things that make you more susceptible to being bit by mosquitoes, and I wonder if it comes from Fauci. Um, one of the things on here is if you're um, a large person and produce more carbon dioxide, CO2, or if you have a certain type of blood. A study in 2004 suggested that type O for some mosquito species. Yeah, they like the type O. If you're moving around a lot or fidget a lot when mosquitoes are active, which also produce more CO2. Or your body produces an odor. Maybe you're wearing perfume or you have smelly feet. <laughs> and dark clothing. I never knew that mosquitoes could be attracted to dark clothing. Testing for the virus would um, include a blood test, including an antibody test, a virus-specific um, immunoglobin test, to rule out other conditions and confirm a diagnosis. Um, it's like to rule out other conditions? Well, evidently, the James Canyon virus can be hard to tell apart from other similar diseases. They may end up having to do a spinal tap, a MRI, and a plaque reduction neutralization test. This is absolutely nuts. There's no cure for Jamestown Canyon virus. What they'll do is recommend that you have fluids to prevent dehydration, over-the-counter pain relievers to ease headaches and fever, and they recommend rest. If you develop severe symptoms, well, they're going to hospitalize you to make sure that you have um, IV fluids. But other than that, there's nothing they can do. I'm really surprised they're not recommending everyone get vaccinated. So is this something that they created? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just like the uh, Lyme disease. Yeah, they created that. What, Plum Island, I believe that was. It took them, what, decades before they even admitted that it was created by um, scientists? Yeah, I had never heard of this before. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.